Hello everyone, I am Jehovah. Welcome to War of Rights. <clears throat> We're back today with the United European Community for their Saturday event. Special thanks goes out to everyone here today for allowing me to join. This map is Cook's Counter Charge. Uh, historically what happened here was Green, uh, the Union, had actually forced their way all the way up to this area right here in the battlefield <clears throat> and had pushed off Lee's artillery from this general area. They actually made it all the way into the West Woods around the Dunker Church. And uh, old Cook from North Carolina made a hell of a counter charge and pushed them off. Uh, Green's men were the last to leave the field. But in this battle, <clears throat> what we've got here, we got our North Carolinians, historically accurate. Um, but what we're looking at is the point of contention way down there. Way down there. This this map is oof, absolutely horrendous. So you see the 8th Florida with the North Carolina flag, 8th Alabama with the stars and bars. But they've got a hell of a challenge in front of them because they've got to cross this open field and take this point of contention from the Union. It's the high ground back here. The Union spawn is right back there. So the previous battle, we had Pry Ford where the Confederates had a, <clears throat> a huge advantage in the open field. Now we flip the tables and we're going to give that same advantage to the Union. This is an extremely difficult map for the Confederates to, uh, to win. It's very, very difficult. Now, a lot of times what you'll see... This ground right here, the Confederates want to get into these trees and these rocks. They can. Uh, a lot of this fence work is going to happen. You'll see a lot of uh, fighting along this fence line, but also a lot of uh, flanking maneuvers, <clears throat> which is one thing that this map does give you. And they'll come straight down this road. This is the Smokehouse Road. And they'll come straight down this road, and they'll try to flank around to these caissons. Now, in my experience, this has been the... Uh, the most contested ground on the battlefield, these caissons right here. You can see the Mama Farm in the background on fire. The Confederates actually uh, torched those buildings early in the morning uh, to deny the Union that spot, that ground. You can see the uh, Union guns here. Well, I tell you what, when artillery comes into this game, it's going to be a game changer for sure. You can see off in the distance the Confederates getting ready to go. <clears throat> Excuse me, and here are your Union. I don't want to uh, get in, get involved in their tactics. We'll just see that unfold. Of course, if you're not familiar with the field, there's your Dunker Church. Uh, right in this area here, <clears throat> in real life, this is where the visitor center is. Uh, but during the battle, this was the site of the Confederate artillery in the middle of the field. You can see off in the distance there, that's your Miller's cornfield. The field in front of it, that's where Douglas and his men were to start the morning. This is uh, <clears throat> still in the morning, late morning, before the battle shifted off to the center of the field. Uh, this was the the first push of the Union Army. And we always use the Mama Farm as our anchor because you can see that smoke from anywhere on the field. Um, right down in this area. Let's see while we're here. Yeah, there's your sunken lane <clears throat> right there. You can see straight ahead of you. That's your sunken road. And you've got your, uh, I think that's the auto farm out there. That, of course, was your uh, early afternoon battle. Confederates ultimately were pushed back up this hill onto this, uh, <clears throat> to this orchard where Longstreet actually held off the Union with an artillery barrage. That's what the history says, but D.H. Hill and his men made a lot of suicidal charges, and that's what really kept the Union at bay. <clears throat> All right, we've got, we've got movement. This is your 14th Louisiana. And there is your 52nd New York. They've got their own flag. 
Look at that. How often does that get to happen in the game? And the Union's moving up. I like this tactic. All right, you see the Confederates moving on to the flank. As anticipated. <clears throat> Actually crossing the Smokehouse Road to the other side. That's one group of them. You got another one here. They're split up this time. So you see your 8th Florida moving to the left. And the 8th Alabama moving to the right. <coughs> and I'm afraid uh, the 8th Alabama is going to get a taste of both of these Union Army right quick. Here they come up the fence line. And they have no idea that these Union are in these trees. They, well, they got an idea now. <clears throat> Schimmel Fittings men moving straight up the fence line. Trying to get behind him. You heard the call for bayonets. And the Louisiana boys are backing off. There go the 52nd New York as well. Because the 8th Florida is coming around the other side. I don't see them. Oh, there they are. <clears throat> they're coming up the back fence line, so the 52nd looks like they're getting around there to try to to block them. So this gives the 8th Alabama the 14th Louisiana here. They're on the move. They want to get to that point of contention. I do not blame them. Oh, lost a couple guys, but not many. Let's see what the uh, <clears throat> Florida boys are trying to do here. Oh, 52nd. They know exactly what Florida's going to do. Coming through the corn. They are waiting for him. All right, 8th Alabama. Swung completely around the back side. I don't think there's enough Louisiana to stop them. They're coming straight for the point of contention. These guys are going for the throat right away. Look at this. They don't give a shit, man. They're coming right after it. They're going to dare you to push them off the point of contention. <clears throat> Coming up behind the Louisiana as well as the 52nd. 52nd firing into the 8th Florida. They may not even know that the Alabama are here. They're about to. Oh man, they shot high or low. One, <coughs> excuse me, Louisiana is still out there, but there's just not enough of them. If these Union Army groups do not stay together, it's going to be real hard for them. There's your 8th Florida, finally made their way through the corn, getting shot up by the 52nd. They've got the high ground. 8th Florida in a tough spot here. 50 seconds moving. Florida can't see him. 50 seconds no longer there. Where did the 8th Alabama go? In spawn, she's in the swing, this may also work left face. Left face. Left face. <clears throat> I am completely lost here. I'm lost like yesterday's chicken sandwich. Okay, no, here they are. They backed off to the road. Are they still taking the point? I think they're trying to figure out the sweet spot. They are all the way back behind the Union Army here. Sorry. Have a hold. There's a lot of them. They should be taking that point very quickly. Company ride. But it's really not right. moving fast. Look at that. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We got a scout out there. Here come the 52nd. You've got your 14th up there. 8th Alabama's in a tough spot. Is the Florida going to be able to do anything with them? They're so far away from spawn. It's hard for them to see. All right, they're moving. Here they come. Tisser's got his boys <clears throat> moving again. You hear Hogg, he's exactly right. They're focused on the 8th. 
and the Florida boys are going to come right up on the flank of the 52nd. It's a perfect position. You heard Hog. We're behind him. Damn right you are. Hit him. Tisser getting his boys up. How long will the 52nd wait before they get hit? You heard the command. You saw the reaction. The 52nd now hit from both sides, and they're charging. They're charging straight into the 8th Alabama. No. They've stopped. They were just trying to get out of the range of the 8th Florida. Oh, 8th Alabama taking a heavy loss as well. 52nd. Oh, very accurate. Look at the, oh, the damage here. This is a tight little alleyway of death. Both these armies firing point blank at each other. Where is the Louisiana boys? Where are they? Oh, God. Jesus. 8th Alabama almost completely annihilated in one volley there. 8th Florida coming up in support. There's not going to be much left to support, I'm afraid. But here they come. Oh, and the, there's Louisiana charging into what's left of the 8th Alabama. They're running across the field. There's not many left. Schimmel Finnick and a flag bearer and one other man running to the safety of the 8th Florida's position. 8th Florida's feeling exposed, but they are taking the point. 52nd now running to the aid, or running to the area where the 14th Louisiana came to give them aid. There's a lot of Union back here, but they're losing the point of contention. <clears throat> They are regrouping, and they've got an advantage because their spawn point is literally right down there. You can see them coming from it. Looks like Tisser might have gone down as well. All right, you see your 8th Alabama and your 8th Florida regrouping here. They're in a good position if they can get men up fast enough. They've got to keep the heat on the Union Army, and they're just going to get reinforced so quickly. You hear them discussing what they want to do here. All right, that clock has stopped moving toward the Confederacy. Got 31 minutes to go. Both units are battle ready. Confederates trying to figure out what to do. They just don't have a lot of men up. Got to run all the way across this field. You can see the artillery is hot and heavy. 52nd stand in position. 14th Louisiana moving around to the hay, to the hay bales. Getting on the flank of the Confederates who do not see them. All right, they ducked down in just the right amount of time. <clears throat> Flag bearer went down, but I didn't see a whole lot of other guys drop. All right, they just gave away their position. All right, looks like the Confederates are giving up the field a little bit. 8th Alabama's pulled back. All right, they're moving around to the flank. There's Schimmel Finnig and his boys. <clears throat> I'm not sure how far out they can get this way. But the front. You can see there's your Louisiana. Confederates still have the uh, <clears throat> slight advantage. It's like the Union's not taking the point either. All right, this terrain is a little too rocky here. Oh, here come your reinforcements. There's all your 8th Alabama. They're looking for their group. Sergeant Tim trying to move them. Quartermaster Tim trying to find his units right over there. And the Florida's on the move again. So is the 52nd New York. They're both going for the rocks. 52nd taking back the point of contention. They're right in the middle of the field. Slightly exposed, but in a damn good position. Let's see if the Alabama boys can come up and support these Floridians. Florida in a bit of confusion here. There's not really a safe place. 
trying to get into a position so they can get a line formed. Get some heat down on these 50-second guys. Oh, yeah, they're bringing the pepper. They got a few of them right there. Louisiana's still out here holding up the 8th Alabama. Wir hätten die einfach noch beschäftigt auf vor uns. Wartet, wartet, Feuer! Reload! See, that's an awful long way to shoot. <clears throat> Eighth Florida in the rocks still. Trying to get an angle on these 50 second. 28 minutes to go. 50 second New York holding the field. Jetzt brauchen wir die. They're right up close to these Florida boys, too. Well, they were. Florida's on the move. Back behind the fence. Taking cover. Got a great position here. A lot of low shots, though. Alabama's still on the fence as well. Up, oh, they're moving to the left. If these 88s can get together, they're very deadly. Here they come. Schimmelfin and coming up to support the 8th Florida. <clears throat> they have to know the 52nd is the bigger unit. You see the fire coming in. You hear Schimmelfinnig. Giving him his plans to Tisser as he runs by. I'm in zone, ready. 52nd in a tough spot here. Oh, you see the flag bearer go down. Many others go with him. <clears throat> Louisiana moving up in support. They're going to where the 8th Alabama were, but not where they are. Tisser's got his watch's right flank. 52nd now taking fire from two different units. They're getting decimated. They're finally moving off this area. 14th Louisiana moving into position on Tisser's right. Let's see if they can see him. They've got cover. Schimmel's moving. All right, Florida saw him. <clears throat> they sent in a heavy fire here. Schimmel Finnig moving down the left side of the fence here. Trying to get an angle. Florida guys are coming as well. See what's left of the 52nd trying to hide behind that bush. Schimmel Finnig's found a gap. Oh, Lord. All right, Florida's in the field. <clears throat> Tisser moving up. His guys are yelling, we're not reloaded. <laughs> he just wanted to get him in behind this bush here. It's a great position. 25 minutes left. Confederates are applying a lot of pressure. 50 second. You see how fast they've regrouped. That spawn point is really, really helpful. Here come the 8th Alabama as well. Both these units working very well together today. And they're moving to the Union right. <clears throat> there go the volleys. Hard to hit a moving target. 8th Alabama still on the move. They're back on the smokehouse road. Reload. They're trying to get a flank. There's your 14th Louisiana. They're on the right flank of the Floridians. <clears throat> Are they going to see him? Yeah, they saw him. They're moving into the trees. Florida moving into the trees. 52nd moving back off the field, and there goes the point of contention. It's slowly ticking toward the Confederates. Will it last? If I know Schimmel, he's moving. <clears throat> yes, he is. Here he comes, right back up to the caissons. He knows how important these are. Florida's on his right in support, but here come the Louisiana. They're coming in behind the Floridians. <clears throat> Eighth Alabama on the flank of the 52nd. Here come the 52nd. This is going to be a bloodbath right here. It always comes down to these caissons. 
see the Floridians moving out to face off against the 14th Louisiana. You got the 52nd moving up to face off against the 8th Alabama. After we know. It is a chaotic, smoky mess here. <clears throat> they're moving up. They're hopping the caissons. These men are right on top of each other, firing at will. And here come the Florida. <clears throat> in support, they're on the charge. 52nd is in a bad spot. There it is. How long before the Alabama joins the fun? Here they come. <clears throat> and the Union Army has been wiped out once again. Confederates are in charge of the caissons, but not in charge of the field. Look at this. It's still ticking blue. They're going to have to take advantage of this situation now and move to that point of contention. Let's see what they do. <clears throat> if they give these Union time, they're just gonna mass up. And they're behind them. They're gonna be coming from back here. You see them already lined up back there, getting ready. <clears throat> Looks like they're uh, more concerned with that because they do have what's left of Louisiana on the other side of them, out in those trees there. And they're moving off to our left. See Florida's moving off to try to <clears throat> hold up the 14th Louisiana. It is slowly, slowly, slowly ticking toward the Confederates. The Union is now engaged. Oh, God, the Florida taking it in the back as they move off. Alabama's getting ready for the 52nd to come back across this field. Behind us, yeah. both flags behind us. Both flags behind us, both flags behind us. Both flags behind us. Company about face. Oh, 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 face. <clears throat> but Tisser knows anybody that spawns in on that 52nd flag out there is in a tough position. 21 minutes. We're about half and half. All right, Schimmel's moving. Back toward the middle. <clears throat> Still not getting the point of contention. This is insane. They're getting it, but it's just so painfully slow. You can see the point right out there in the middle of that field. Nobody wants to stand there. <laughs> So now I got Florida in a tough position because they can see the 14th Louisiana, but they got guys behind them. <clears throat> and I don't know if they're aware of it. And I don't know how long it's going to be before they come in. Artillery coming in. All right, you got Louisiana moving to approach 8th Alabama. They're coming across right in front of them. And Schimmel's moving back to the right. They want that point of contention back, and they're getting it. Here come Tisser. Moving back to the fence line in support of the 8th Alabama. I don't know what they can see, but I can't see shit. You heard the call for bayonets. 52nd on the move. Okay. 52nd right up on the face here. They've taken back the point of contention. Winners is the first in. They're, oh, shot in the back. Here they come. You've got the 52nd just standing in the middle of the field. Okay, there they go. They wanted the point of contention back with 19 left. Both armies are now engaged. Union just playing peekaboo with these guys. Confederates in a pretty strong position by the Mama Farm here, but not able to really take the point of contention from this spot. They're going to have to expose themselves in the middle of this field in order to do it. And so the Union is just going to play a waiting game here <clears throat> and let them come out. Plus, any of their guys that are spawning are coming in from behind them. I think that's what you saw before. 
still we've still got a bunch of guys just standing on the road over there. Yeah, the Union has time on their side. They can literally just sit here and wait and let all their men spawn in on the flag. Confederates do not have that same luxury. They're going to have to come across this field. And that's why you saw the 50-second move up before, <clears throat> take all that heavy fire, because they needed to get that point of contention back on their side. Makes it just that much longer for the Confederates to take the lead here. You heard the charge bayonets call. Oh, fire still coming in from the 14th Louisiana. <clears throat> All right, here they go. Schimmel's over the fence. Sister's coming with him. I do it. We got both companies coming in mass. I like this strategy. These teams work so well together. And they are a formidable force. We're here to give them back. We're going to the case on Scottsdale. Yeah, we are. Here you go, bloody fire. <clears throat> 8th Alabama right on the crest of the hill. They're taking on two different companies here. Shooting flag bearers down. All right, 14th Louisiana looks like they're coming up to support 52nd. Oh, brutal fire by the 14th and the 52nd. Alabama returning it to them. And they're pushing them off. Where's that point of contention? Still not moving toward the Confederates. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Tisser and his boys have moved to the right to fight a few Union in the caissons. And here they come. They're pushing them off. 17 and a half minutes. The Confederates are pushing these Yankees off the field, and they're still not getting the point. Look at this. It's insanity. What do these boys have to do? Now the Union is also taking losses. But there's so many Union by the point of contention, which is way the hell out here, <clears throat> that the Confederates are having a real hard time pushing them completely off. See what's left of Schimmel's men there. You see what Tisser's got over on the caissons. They're going to have to move up. They cannot afford the luxury. Okay, here they go. Union is starting to back off the field, and you're seeing that point of contention slowly start ticking toward the Confederates. Painfully slow. They're going to have to come up to speed this clock up. Although they still got 16 minutes. There's not really a, a need to rush yet. 8th Alabama did a hell of a job standing their ground right here, taking such heavy fire. All right, they're backing off. I'm going to say, I don't think Tisser's going to sit still for very long. Here he goes. <clears throat> He's back on the Smokehouse Road. They've got to cap that point, though. <clears throat> He's thinking Alabama's going to do it, but Alabama's also moving off. Trying to flank around. Here goes Schimmel and his boys. Yep. Yep. See the 14th Louisiana out there. <clears throat> he wants to get an angle on him. Fire coming in. Right, you see, Schimmel's going to try to come out of these trees here. So you got the 14th here, supported by the 52nd behind him. They just saw him. Oh, a deadly fire by the 8th Alabama. <clears throat> Were the Louisiana boys able to hit anybody? <laughs> they got a couple of them. Brilliant move by Schimmel coming out of those woods right there. They did not expect it. Mm. Louisiana going down. <clears throat> Where are Tisser and the Florida? Back up on the field. Here you go. Now they're going. They're going for the point of contention. This is how you do this. <clears throat> Look at it. Look at it. Burning back toward the Confederacy. 
All right, these Louisiana and 52nd are not going to have the luxury of facing the Alabama. They're going to have to charge the Florida, and when they do, they're going to have Alabama on their flank. This is a great position for the Confederates. Let's see if Tisser and his boys can survive the onslaught. Ooh, a brutal, brutal volley <clears throat> by the Union. And Florida has fallen back, and look at that point. It froze solid. They're going to have to move back up where they were. 8th Alabama on the move. They're getting behind the Union Army. Schimmel being extremely aggressive. Right on the edge of the map, you can see that. He wants to get him behind the fence in the corn and fire in. This should give Tisser enough time to get his men back up to that hill. <clears throat> Excuse me, and take back that point of contention. All right, you see the Louisiana boys moving back toward the fence. It's going to be a battle in the corn. <laughs> Fifty second have moved straight up to the top of the hill. They want that point of contention back. <clears throat> Where's Florida? Florida is right out here in the field. But they keep moving back. They do that little hit and run move, which can be effective, but one of these teams have got to get serious about this point of contention. <clears throat> you hear Tisser calling for the bayonet. And you just heard that. I mean, it's so confusing on the field. You don't know how effective your guys are being. Oh, 14th Louisiana is moving on the 8th Alabama. Here we go. 8th Alabama moving off, but they're about to get hit. Oh, oh, they don't even see it. Farewell, boys. <clears throat> Mass confusion in the cornfield. 8th Alabama in serious trouble. Schimmel's moving off, but he's only got half his troops left. The other half was the victim of the 14th Louisiana. 52nd also came with him. <clears throat> Schimmel doing a little hook, trying to get back around him. The uh, Union guys may have put themselves in a really bad spot here. If Schimmel can get his guys back to this corner, he might stop them. Florida's got to move up. Do they see their advantage here? They're still on the fence. They don't know that the, that the Union is no longer there. If Florida moves now, they've got a huge opportunity to claim the middle of that field. Oh, here they go. They're moving slow. They don't know where the Union is, but they've got to get up there fast. Schimmel does not have a lot left here and he's facing off two regiments of the Union. He's gonna have to have support. Oh gosh, here they come. 14th Louisiana coming straight up the fence line. <clears throat> There's just not a lot of Alabama left here. 52nd is now moving back off to the center of the field. Point of contention is still frozen blue. All right, here they are, right in their face. Oh. You're talking shit to each other. <laughs> They're negotiating. I mean, their whole thing here is to hold the Alabama off. Oh no. Negotiations have ended. <laughs> Alabama holding, but it gave time for the 52nd to get back into the field. They're retaking the point of contention. Florida could not get up in time. <clears throat> you still, they're still back by the fence. This just tells you how strong these 52nd boys really are. Just the thought of them kept them out of the field. Oh! <laughs> Florida's still very accurate from this distance. Oh. They're giving them hell. 52nd isn't getting it for free, that's for sure. But nine minutes left, and they are taking back the point of contention. And now they got a flank on the 8th Alabama. What's left of them? Here they come. More reinforcements from Alabama are pulling up as we speak. 
But there's a lot more 52nd now. Will Tisser and his men move up? Do they know the advantage? They can't see this position that I can see. They just can't see from there. They think the 52nd is right in the middle of that field. And they don't want to just take, uh, lose all the tickets moving up on them. 8th Alabama still holding this corner. Oh, brutal fire. 52nd and the Louisiana boys are just pouring it into these Alabamians. Where are the Floridians? They've got to move up. Here they come. They're going to the caissons. And remember, from their point of view, they cannot see what's going on across this field. They have no idea. Tisser moving his men up, looking for the enemy. Still can't see him. He sees a little smoke in the distance, I'm sure. Okay, you've got 8th Alabama moving back toward position. They're being chased by the 14th Louisiana and the 52nd New York, it looks like. Tisser's got a huge advantage here if he can take it. You got reinforcements of the, of the Union moving up. Well, you did. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, shit. They're behind me. Run. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, Tisner and his men now taking up a position that the 52nd held earlier. You see all the Union dead there. Tisser and his men in a great position. They almost have to move up a little bit more. See Louisiana behind the fence, pouring it into the Floridians. What's left of the Alabama? They're, they're ganging back up here on the corner. <clears throat> this is why it's such an impossible task for the Confederacy. They've got to move straight into that open field to have any chance. And that's just suicide against these teams like this. You can see 52nd moving to the left. Florida's about to get pinched. <clears throat> see what the Alabama can do to help them out here. I don't think Tisser's going to want to hold this ground for long. There's your Alabama moving off as well. Florida just slowly ticking away toward that, but not very quickly. Here's your 8th Alabama firing down the fence line. They've got an angle on these Louisiana boys. You hear them charging bayonets, and they're getting ready to double quick. There's just not a lot of them left. Can Florida hold the field? Here come the 52nd. They started getting the point back, but here come the 52nd in mass. Trying to get behind the fence. A lot of them are dropping in the process. Here they come. They got their bayonets out. Fifty second is doing its very best to annihilate the eighth Florida here. They're on the road. They're in front of them, behind them. The Florida are absolutely surrounded here. Can they hold against a superior force? 52nd in mass. You see the Floridians fighting for their very lives. What? It's not safe. Razzin. Oh. 14th Louisiana came in to support. And the Union starting to take command of the field, but it's still ticking toward the Confederacy somehow. Eighth Florida completely wiped out, but it took two regiments to do it. Here's the Eighth Alabama. Here they come. They're coming across the field. Full out charge. Louisiana trying to get in a line. They got a volley off. Oh boy. 8th Alabama's taking on both sides of the Union Army. I don't know if they're ready for that. Union's got a lot of troops here. Confederacy doing everything they can. You see there are four Union men chasing the flag bear. Run! It's not good. Leave that man alone. He doesn't even have a weapon. <laughs> uh.
Oh god, I swear this is the most entertaining part of these battles. Watching the flag bears run away. All right, so the Union are now breaking. I mean, the Confederates, they might not be able to hold this point of contention, but they are killing the shit out of these Yankees. They could beat them on tickets, but they've only got four minutes left, and they've got to come from all the way across that field. And you can see that's going back Union. So you got 14th Louisiana in the caissons. You got 52nd holding the field. Three minutes, 44 seconds left. <clears throat> and the Confederates are having to start all over again. They've got time for one more push, and they're going to have to do it together. You hear Hogg, let's just go. He's right. They've only got three and a half minutes to do this. <clears throat> Hold together. You heard the order. That's exactly what you want to do, Tisser. That's a great idea. So Schimmelfinnig leading the charge. Tisser's men coming in behind. They're all working together as one group. They're going to push through these Union like a plow. And if they can be successful in doing it, they might kill more of them. Or they might be able to take it in two minutes and 50 seconds. Here, Tisser trying to keep people as tight as possible. Oh, the volley coming in. Flag is down. <laughs> you heard all. We're all eighth here. That's right. The 88 coming through. One last historical heroic push. Can they make it happen? You hear Schimmel. Fifty second and the eighth Alabama firing simultaneously. Here come the Florida. Here come Florida right behind them. Tisser's not waiting to aim. They leapfrogged. <clears throat> All right, here they go. They're lining up. They got a fire at will coming in. Fifty second in in real danger here. They know it. Here come the charge. Tisser and his boys moving forward. Louisiana's behind them, but it's too late to worry about that now. Here come the whole Confederate Army. Oh, they've paused to wait. They're right under the point. You can see they are standing on the point of contention at this spot. Back to back, they're just going to have to fight their way out of this. You see the fire coming in from all sides. You got the 52nd behind them, the Louisiana in front. One minute, 15 seconds. Can they do it? It's going to be real close on time. They're not getting that point very quickly. Okay. Right. 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 We've got Union on all sides, and the 52nd has come right up. But that clock's still turning red. 52 seconds. I don't know that they have enough time. Oh, and here come the 52nd New York. Can they beat them on tickets? 52nd New York, 14th Louisiana, a full charge. These Confederates are in the middle of the field fighting for their very lives. And doing a damn good job of it. Holy crap. They did it. Last stand. 27 seconds. Will the clock move fast enough? The Confederates have wiped the Union off the field. Amazing. Absolutely amazing, but they may not have time. 14 seconds left. Oh, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. Here we go. 10 seconds. Holy shit. Talk about just in the nick of time. They did it. Wow. <laughs> that was incredible. Oh, my God. What, a, what an amazing push by the... The 88, it's the mighty 88, dude. Those guys are hard to beat when they're together. Man, incredible. Whew. <laughs> hey, Gaming Templar, I apologize. I hadn't, didn't say anything before now. Just been uh, completely enthralled with this game. That was absolutely amazing. Man, every week is something new and something better. These units never fail to amaze me. Uh, again, thank you for letting me be here. 
Uh, if you enjoyed that, hit the like button, subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, we do this every Saturday, man, and they're always awesome. So uh, until next time, thanks for joining me. My name's Jehovah, and I will catch you later. Goodbye.